it's Emma Nargo. So I'm doing this makeup look today and I really hope you guys can tell what I'm trying to be. So I did this vampire tutorial today and this is going to be a full face look. And I just wanted to thank you guys for um, the nice comments on my last tutorial. And I just wanted to update you guys and tell you that I'm doing a lot better, I'm feeling a lot better. So thank you. And by the way, I haven't mentioned it before because I keep on forgetting. But I did get a new microphone, so I really hope the sound is better. I don't know if you guys have even noticed. But I did buy a new microphone, I'm still not 100% sure what it does. But I just kind of turn it on and put it on my camera and then hope it works. But yeah, back to the makeup. I wanted to do a vampire look because I really wanted to do it last year, but I didn't but I didn't have enough time. So I wanted to make sure that I did it this year. So I did a really intense vampire look. I did the pale skin, I did the contoured face, I did the dark eyes, I did the bloody lips, I did everything. And of course you could tone it down a bit and wear it a little more natural or a little more like cute i guess but i really wanted to do like a really scary or gore kind of vampire so yeah this is my vampire look please thumbs it up if you like it and make sure you watch in high definition and that is all so here comes the tutorial there's always this one bitch who dislikes all my videos why you have to do me like that okay so whoops. Let's move that up a little bit. Okay. So I'm going to do a full face today because I haven't done a full face makeup look in a little bit. So I thought I would do it today. So I'm going to start out with my Equate Eye Allergy Relief Eye Drops because my eyes are looking pretty red. I don't know why they are so red looking because they don't feel irritated and I don't have like a lot of allergies going on right now but anyways this will take care of it and I look like a maniac when I put these in so don't judge me Ooh. so at first my eyes get more red but then the product starts working and they get nice and white and bright. Okay, so let's just get this hair out of my face. Messy bun life. So I'm going to be working with two primers today. These are both by Catrice. So these are the Prime and Fine um, primers. This one is a mattifying primer and this is a anti-redness primer. And I'm going to start out with the mattifying primer to uh, mattify my face. So I apply this mainly on my T-zone, but also on my cheeks. But I avoid like the eye area. So with my anti-redness primer, I'm going to apply that to the red parts like my nose, my cheeks, my chin, plus underneath my eyes. And I'm using this because I don't want any of my like natural flush to show through because I want my skin to look super pale and like that. So for foundation, you want to use the absolute lightest foundation that you have. For me, that's my L'Oreal Infallible Matte Foundation in the color Porcelain. And I'm going to mix in some of this BB Cream by Born Pretty Store. This is in the color 01. It's super duper light. So I'm going to apply this BB Cream to like the center part of my face. and around my mouth and right here on the cheekbones and as you can see this is super light it's way too light for my skin tone but it's really going to brighten and make my skin look nice and pale and I'm just going to apply this everywhere else and then blend it all in and as you can see this foundation looks way more like my skin tone and I'm just going to spray my sponge just with water and I just go ahead and blend this all together and you also want to go underneath your eyes with your foundation because we are not going to be applying concealer and I'm also going to bring it onto my ears and just blend it a little bit down the neck so once you're done with your foundation you just want to go ahead and set it we are not going to be applying any concealer because we don't want to hide um, our dark circles we actually want to emphasize them so I'm just going to set with a bit of my Rimmel Stay Matte 
transparent powder and I just use my big old kabuki brush and I would definitely go for a matte powder to you know keep with the dead skin feel and I'm also applying this underneath my eyes to make sure it doesn't crease under here okay so we don't want to go in and bronze the skin but we do want to contour and I'm going to use my trusty Born Pretty Store highlight and contour palette and I'm going to use this lightest brown color. You want to use any color that's more gray toned. And I'm going to carve out my cheekbones with my NARS Eda brush. And I'm taking it almost all the way down to my lips. And I'm going to shade up around my hairline as well just to make it look nice and dramatic and I also lightly <clears throat> define my jawline and before I go ahead and blend it out I'm going to use my um, e.l.f. studio fan brush to contour my nose so then I go back in with my powder brush and I just blend out the contour okay so now I'm going to highlight with the matte white color in here so I'm just using that on top of the cheekbones and then on the chin and cupid's bow and down the nose and in the middle of the forehead. Okay, so to finish off the skin we are going to emphasize um, the dark circles. So I'm going to grab my Naked Smoky palette by Urban Decay and I'm going to take this matte grey color called Password and I'm going to dust that underneath the eyes so to emphasize the dark circles a little bit more I'm also going to take my PS Cosmetics 10 piece blush palette and I'm going to mix this color with this color and also apply that underneath the eye and this is just to make it look a little more bruised this brush it sweats like a motherfucker and actually, I'm just going to go in with some of that grey color and go over my contour because I want it a little more grey. And I just go back in with my powder brush. So once all that is done, I'm going to take my e.l.f. makeup mist and set and just lock in everything. And just let that dry. So I'm using my brow comb to brush through my eyebrows and then I'm going to pop on a little bit of my e.l.f. essentials eyelid primer and I just blend that out with my finger. Okay so for my eyebrows I want them to be really sharp and defined so I'm going to use my Anastasia dip brow in the color soft brown so I'm going to fill them in pretty heavily. And you could definitely go less heavy-handed on the brows, but it is Halloween, so why the fuck not? So to clean off my brows, I am going to use concealer, and I'm using the lightest concealer that I have. Focus. <laughs> this is the W7 Go Concealer in the color Fair, and I'm just going to clean up these bad boys because they got a little messy. I love Mercy. And I'm going to blend out the concealer with my sponge. And then I go ahead and clean up the other eyebrow. So I'm going to set my brows with my Brow Artist Plumper in um, Medium Dark by L'Oreal. Okay, so now that we're done with the eyebrows, we can move on to eyeshadow. And I'm going to continue to work with my Naked Smoky palette. And I'm just going to take this password color again. And I'm just going to apply that kind of messily into the crease and a little bit down on the eyelid. Then I'm going to use the color 13. And this is going to be our brow bone highlight and the other eyebrow 
I mean the other brow bones and just go back in and blend. So now I'm going to take the color Black Market and just apply that right in the outer corner. And I also blend it all the way through the crease and into kind of the inner corner. So I'm also going to add <clears throat> Password along my lower lash line. And I'm going to leave it like that with um, without blending it out to make it look a bit undone. So now I'm going to apply a ton of my Magic Gel Eyeliner by W7 to my upper and lower waterline. So I'm going up on my upper waterline and I'm making sure to really get it in between the lashes. And I'm just applying it on the lower waterline as well. So once I have that on both my eyes, I'm going to take my e.l.f. Um, Essentials Liquid Liner in black and I'm going to do kind of a dramatic cat eye. So once I have my eyeliner on, I'm going to use my lash color to just curl my lashes, just as I always do. And I'm going to be applying Estee Lauder Mascara. So this is my finished mascara result. And it's okay if it's messy and if it gets on your skin because that's the whole idea. It's supposed to be kind of messy and worn in. So I want to add some, I guess, a little bit of glamour as well as a lot of drama. So I'm going to use these Intense Lashes by W7. And now I'm going to blend my real lashes together with the false lashes with a bit of mascara. I'm also going to hide the lash glue with a little eyeliner. Okay, so now we are basically done with the eyes and I'm going to do a bloody red lip. So I'm going to remove my lip balm and I'm going to be using this deep red um, lipstick by Born Pretty Store. And again, I'm going for a more messy look, so I apply it just roughly on my lips. And then I blend it out with my finger. And I'm going to apply some red lip gloss. I'm using Cherry Love by Lipmatic. And I'm also going to take the lip gloss and drag it down each corner of my lips to make it look kind of like blood. <laughs> and I'm just going to use a Q-tip. To remove any excess lip lipstick and lip gloss and that makes sure that you don't get it all on your teeth and yeah of course you could use fake blood if you had that 
but I don't have fake blood so I just kind of improvised with some red lip gloss and once you're done with that you're actually all done with the look so I'm gonna take my fun bun down okay you guys so this is the finished look so I really hope you guys like it I really like how it turned out this really looks like what I would think a vampire looks like so don't forget to thumbs up this look if you like it and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next video. So take care and bye bye.